while charging infrastructure is still at a very nascent stage in India, many manufacturers have shown a strong inclination to introduce their electric vehicles in India. In the next few minutes, we'll take a look at the electric vehicles being launched in the country in this coming year, starting with the very hotly anticipated Tata Punch EV, positioned just below the Nixon EV, but above the Tata Tiago EV. We expect the electric punch to sport a reworked front grille, updated bumpers with altered headlight housing and EV-specific characteristics like a full-width light bar to differentiate it from the ICE model. The cabin will most likely feature the same 10.25-inch infotainment screen that debuted in the Nexon EV earlier this year. A redesigned rotary dial, which functions as a gear selector, an electronic parking brake, armrest for the front seat passengers is also expected. We're expecting the punch to have a redesigned two-spoke steering wheel with the Tata backlit logo as seen in the latest Nexon EV. Tata Motors is yet to disclose any technical detail about this EV and we think the hatch might be offered in two trim levels, a medium and long range similar to what we've seen in the Tiago EV. We're expecting the punch EV to start at 12 lakh rupees. Tata Motors is also expected to launch the electric variant of the Harrier in India early next year. While the SUV might not look completely different from its ICE counterpart, the Harrier EV is expected to have blanked off front grille, redesigned front and rear lights, new bumpers and full width lights on the front and rear. It will be based on the Gen 2 electric vehicle platform and the SUV will be an all-wheel drive with a dual electric motor setup. The electric SUV may get a sizable battery pack around 60 to 80 kilowatt hour and AC as well as fast DC charging capability. Vehicle to load charging capabilities and cloud connected telematics are also expected. In our estimation, the Harrier EV will be priced between 25 to 30 lakh rupees. Tata Motors' electric first SUV, the Curve, is also expected to hit roads sometime mid next year. This premium SUV 2 will debut the brand's Gen 2 EV architecture and is expected to have a dual motor setup, offering a driving range of between 400 to 500 kilometers on a single charge. The SUV will also have DC fast charging capabilities and from what we've seen since over a year ago, the curve looks like a mid-size SUV with a sloping roofline and we estimate it will be priced between 14 to 20 lakh rupees ex showroom. After years of advocating hybrid and CNG as the way forward, Maruti Suzuki is finally preparing to launch the brand's very first EV at the end of next year. At 4.3 meter length, the EVX is rumored to be as large as the Grand Vitara and will be heavily localized in the country to make the EV affordable and lucrative for the brand. The concept showcase at the Japan Mobility Show 2023 gave us a glimpse at the futuristic and minimalistic cabin layout that could be adopted by the brand going forward. The EVX's concept design looks impressive with aero-optimized alloy wheels, flush door handles and full-width tail lamps which might be carried forward to the production spec model as well. The EVX will offer two battery pack options, a 48 kilowatt hour unit with a claimed range of around 400 kilometers and a larger 60 kilowatt hour battery delivering 550 kilometers on a single charge. Prices should begin around 18 lakh rupees and as has been the latest trend going forward, a Toyota badged EVX will also be launched in India by 2025. Last year, during Independence Day, Rohit briefly got a chance to drive the Mahindra XUV E8, which we think is the electric version of the XUV700 and that is production-ready model is expected to launch by next year. Based on the brand's new electric Inglo platform, Mahindra has stated the battery capacities would range between 60 and 80 kilowatt hour, while the platform also allows for a two-motor option a single motor on a rear-wheel drive configuration and a dual motor in an all-wheel drive setup leading to 230 to 345 horsepower. The SUV is also expected to come with 175 watt fast charging capability and might be capable of offering a driving range of 500 kilometers on a single charge. Come mid-2024, we'll be welcoming Kia's largest born electric SUV, the EV9 in India. 
Kia is inching a step closer to realizing its ambitious plans of 13 born electric SUVs by 2027 with this massive EV9 next year. To give you a perspective, it is as big as a Range Rover SUV, sits on 21-inch wheels and manages to sport a simplistic, minimalistic design inside the cabin. This large SUV will offer three-row seating to accommodate up to six passengers and has a quirky swiveling option for the second row seat, which gives the occupants a lounge-like experience when travelling with guests. The EV9 coming to our shores will most likely be a dual-motor option that offers 512km driving range and a maximum power of 380 horsepower, which is pretty powerful. Owning this massive SUV is going to cost you somewhere around 90 lakh rupees as per our estimation. Skoda is bringing their very first EV called the NYAC to India by the first quarter of next year and we're quite excited about this EV because it'll be a brand new EV that we'll be welcoming in the Indian market. Based on Volkswagen Group's MEB born electric platform, the NYAC IV is slightly smaller in dimension than the Skoda Kodiak and is a five-seater SUV. India is likely to get the ENYAC IV ATX model which supports 125 kilowatt DC fast charging capabilities and gets a 77 kilowatt hour battery pack. This powertrain comes with dual motors, one on each axle giving it all wheel drive capabilities and offers 265 horsepower. The ENYAC IV reportedly will offer 513 kilometers of driving range and will touch 100 kmph in 6.9 seconds.